everyone welcome back to my channel so i have now finished taking the reg exam and i am exhausted but i still wanted to make a video this time around of how i feel right after the exam and just not so much like how i feel i did i think i want to talk more in this video about how i structure and schedule my exam day how I prepare for it, not so much like the material because I feel like I'm a broken record at that point. <laughs> when it comes to reg, this is my fourth time taking reg, um, but I just want to kind of make it a little more universal if you're sitting for the CPA exam in general. So yeah, I'm here in the car and it's hot as hell today where I'm at and the car has been in the sun all day, but I'm going to go ahead and just go through like my quick highlights of what I feel um, will help you on an exam day. So I take my exams at 12 at noon, at noon time. Um, I need to like focus a little bit because I'm exhausted on speaking, but I do take them in the afternoon. And the reason why I take them in the afternoon is because I am a night owl who um, is zoning out a lot because I'm exhausted but i would be in a worse position if i try to take it at 8 a.m or i think the times in the morning are 8 or 8 30 and then the afternoon is 12 or 12 30. so i don't even get up for work that early nowadays i get up at 7 30 7 45 so to be here before the eight o'clock time for example i would have to get to the testing center around 7 30. if i really want to be like more on time it would be closer to 7 or 7 15 in the morning and i'm just not physically capable of doing that and I don't know how else to explain it but I do feel very nauseous or like sick if I get up too early in the morning if that makes sense so that's kind of my decision making behind why I make it in the afternoons and with that said I don't actually test at 12 30 or 12. I test closer to around 11 30 and the reason why is because I want to have like the flexibility of just getting to the testing center when I want I kind of sit here for like maybe a couple of minutes just like going over a couple of things last minute and then I can go in and I don't have that pressure to get here super early I don't have that pressure I guess just to try and make it as relaxed to put it simply even though it's not a relaxing situation as possible I choose the afternoon now that being said I am not a mom I don't have any parent responsibilities. I don't have to go to work. Like right after I finish the test, I take the whole day off um, from work. So that's why I'm able to use that. Uh, like I have that flexibility, I guess. Everyone's situation is different, um, but that's just for me. I do like to try and just make it not so stressful. So another thing is going piggybacking off getting the afternoon time. I do sleep in a bit. Today, I couldn't I couldn't sleep that great so I got up I think like around 8 30 and then I kind of just kept trying to go back to sleep and then I eventually did go I eventually did go back to sleep and I ended up getting up closer to around 9 45 or 10 and then from 10 15 to around 11 15 11 20 is when I got ready and while I was getting ready I also had my iPad next to me um with my GoodNotes app and I had saved off this like word doc I think it was a word doc um from the becker facebook group that someone had saved i think like in late july early august and i use that kind of like as a review throughout the morning throughout my hour basically now you can get up way earlier if you want especially if you're sitting for the afternoon test you can like properly study for a couple hours if you want but i personally don't like doing that because i just want to save my energy and i'm not disciplined enough even to study that much during a work day i just don't want to do that the day of the exam so with that being said um i also do not eat a heavy meal in the mornings if i do eat it's a couple of ritz crackers and a milkshake like a breakfast shake not a milkshake um what is it called a protein shake a protein shake so i don't have like a heavy tummy basically um i do drink some water i'm losing my hand grip so i'm going to switch hands here i do drink some water before i go in um i make sure to use the restroom before i leave the house um to head over here you can use the restroom if you need to right before. You cannot use the restroom or sit up and get a water break during the exam. I think with one positive of having taken, I already passed and took audit and BEC, and then I've taken reg now four times. With one positive of taking this exam multiple times is I've sort of 
discipline myself and like establish with myself the routine of sitting for the exam and just the it's like it's just difficult right and one other thing I do is I when I first started studying and sitting for the exams is with my mock exams with audit that was the first exam I took I used a face mask and I don't use the best face masks really I do use the ones that are I think nurses do use these they're like the simple blue ones um but I am vaccinated I did luckily get vaccinated before I started taking reg wait no no, I got vaccinated right after I took reg for the first time. So I took audit BEC. I took three exams before I was not vaccinated. And with those, I did use a different mask. I used a cloth one, which I think ironically are not as good at protecting like your face and your sinuses, your nose and your ears and stuff. I mean, your nose and your mouth. Oh, I'm so tired. I um, did use a different mask for those. So I did start using these um, after I got vaccinated. This is a whole different situation that I'm talking about here with masks. You can use a KN95, those are super popular. You can use an N95 if you have them. Um, okay, moving along. So I do take one break during the exam. I take the 15 minute um, optional break that does pause your time, your like exam time. I take that one right after the third testlet. The first two testlets are multiple choice and the second testlet are two simulations. That I think is the same across the board regardless of which exam you're taking. What else? Um, for that, I do take, I don't take the whole 15 minutes. I'd say I take closer to like eight minutes because I just go to my locker. We have lockers where you put your like belongings. And then I just grab some water. I grab my protein shake. I like these Soylent ones a lot. You can see here. And then I have chapstick and these like rough strips basically. So I kind of just like refresh myself like with water and the protein shake and then I use the breast strip and then <sighs> I'm exhausted and then I do chapstick and then I put my face ba mask back on then I use the restroom go back in and do the next half of the exam the next half of the exam are all simulations and one thing I had I have done I think since the beginning is I do use the authority authoritative literature for more than just the authoritative literature part um with that I think there's a car coming with that i just if i'm curious and i'm able to look something up quick i look it up but i don't do too much with it so what else i use excel a lot for simulations i use excel a lot a lot a lot and i also wrote down more than i think i did last time on my little test paper that they give you with the pencil i don't use the physical calculator i have gotten into the habit of using the the one in the exam itself I struggled a lot a lot with that at the beginning that I'm not a fan of that calculator and um, just over time I've gotten used to it so there's that um, what else because I have the day off I'm gonna go home and just rest and what I plan on doing the rest of the week is not studying I have tried to do a quick review like in between exams in the past I don't think I'm going to do that this time because I have a couple of things going on like side projects wise and work's going to be very hectic so I don't want to stress myself out too much while I'm waiting for the exam results. I think I think I've consistently taken it where I have about three weeks in between when I take the exam and when I get my results. So that's kind of like my limbo basically. You could test closer to the results if you can. For me it just hasn't worked for my schedule. I think I would prefer to do that. The most I did with audit, I think I did a full month in between. Oh no, I'm wrong. With audit, it was less. I tested on the 28th and my exam results were on the 8th of October. September 28th to October 8th. That's the closest I think I've gotten in between like the test and the exam results. So you could test closer is my point. You could test closer if you want. Look up on the AICPA, like the schedule and you can work your, your schedule around it and that'll help you not stress out and struggle so much while you're waiting for results. What else? This car is backing up, which is odd. Um, the exam. I do test in the, in the Prometric Testing Center, my area that's pretty relaxing in terms of like, I don't feel so intimidated and like just stressed by the whole process because you do take your fingerprints. They are starting to do that now. They didn't do that for a while during the pandemic. 
you do put your fingerprint down um, and then they do like a scanner of your body to like make sure you don't have anything on you that you shouldn't. I only bring in a, where is it? I lost it. Oh, finger. I only bring in a ring. This is a little fidget ring that I got off of Etsy. I just bring this into the testing center just to have something like, I don't feel so like, I don't know. I have some like tangible thing to like hold. It, it's an anxiety thing, I guess. I don't know. Or it's a comfort thing. Um, so I don't have anything else on me. I always have my Apple Watch like all the time on my wrist. This is the only time, did I lose you? Or did I drop you? This is the only time that I don't have my watch. Literally like I sleep with it and everything. So that is something to, I guess, no, you're not going to have so much like jewelry allowed. I think the rings are only allowed. I don't even think bracelets are allowed. I do take off, these are just blue light glasses for um, the computer screen. And I just take off my glasses and then I look at them. So there's a bit of a process to it. I'm lucky in my times taking my exam, like from the beginning, I've never been backlogged. Like I don't go at the same time as someone else testing. So I don't have to worry about like, like standing there and waiting and like getting more stressed, I guess. So it's just a smooth process overall. And that's kind of a recurring theme in this video. I'm recurring, recurring theme of what I'm talking about. Um, it's starting to get warm. So I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna wrap this video up. So that's kind of a recurring theme is trying to streamline my, my exam day process as much as possible. Um, if you need to eat, make sure to eat. That's one thing I don't do is when I'm nervous, I don't put a lot, like I don't eat a lot just to not have a heavy tummy. Um, I do drink water. What else, what else? Once you're done, just like, do that. If you're sitting for these exams, this is like, this whole process is ridiculous. Even when I eventually pass them all and become a CPA, it's really just so much for exams. For so much for at the end of the day, for it's just a lot that they're testing you on besides the material. So that's kind of like how I structure my exam days. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do keep me in your thoughts. Wish me luck that I passed this time, this exam. Um, reg is not my strong suit, as you can tell, but we're all in this together. People fail multiple times all the time. It's completely normal. Doesn't make you any dumber. These exams, you never know where you're gonna get tested on. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's luck of the draw in a way too. I mean, you can study all the majority of what you think will be on the exam and get nothing out of it god forbid you know so there's a lot that goes into these exams i'm done with it for now i'm gonna go home and rest and pet my dog and eat some good food for dinner and just call it a day so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe my to my channel if you did and i will talk to you on my next video bye everyone